Welcome back to Collectible Motor Car of Atlanta. Today, I've got a really cool 1955 Bel Air convertible. And this is not your typical grandpa special here. This one has had a bunch of tricked out parts put on it, like Rod Tech suspension, Holly EFI system, and a few other cool things. With that being said, let's go ahead and get a start on the front up here. I just love a 1955 Bel Air. I love the chrome grill on the front. I love the airplane on the front. You know, the early 50s, that was kind of the era of like going to the moon. So everything had kind of a rocket theme to it. Definitely a cool part of time in the automotive history. But this car just really looks good with the black and the chrome and the red interior, just beautiful. This car was restored recently. Um, it's got a brand new top on it. The paint's in really good condition. It's super clean, no major imperfections, bubbling, anything like that. The door gaps are nice and clean on this car. The chrome looks beautiful. I don't see any scratches or anything like that. Overall, it's in good condition. Um, as we work our way back here, you do have the classic Bel Air logo here with the Chevy emblem. Everything looks to be as it should be. I really like the look of the modern wheels. Uh, the top is functional and working. It's a power top, so that operates like it should. As we work around the back back here, you got that big, gorgeous chrome bumper back here. You got the brand new Chevrolet logo. Overall, this car is super, super nice. But with that being said, really where this car shines is up where the engine is and underneath. So let's go ahead and work our way back up front and let's pop this hood. All right, at first glance, you would think you're just seeing a normal 350 in there. But when you take a little closer look, it's got the upgraded Holly Stealth system. So Holly has just come out with this system just a while back ago for the guys that want to keep it original. Looking, as I should say. So looking at this at first glance, you would think it's a normal just Holly carburetor. But this is their part of their Stealth line, so it's made to look like an original carburetor, but it's actually fuel injected like the Sniper kits. So the computer is hidden over here in the corner of the dash. All the wires are tucked in behind the engine here. Gives it a really nice clean look. Leaves you with that original 350 carbureted look. Overall, it's super, super clean. You've got all the nice chromed drive accessories here. Nice AC, got the chrome master cylinder. You got the Optima battery here with the chrome battery tray. Nice aluminum radiator here. Just a really pretty car, done very well. This motor fires right up, you can drive it anywhere. Just a really, really beautiful car. Uh, but with that being said, let's give it a start and let's see what it sounds like. One benefit to the Holly EFI, no pumping the gas, you just turn the key, rule of thumb, I usually count to three or five, give it time for the fuel pump to pump the fuel up to it. fires right up every time. That is a huge benefit to the Holly system. As well as the performance. The Holly system uh, not only gives you the reliability of fuel injection, but it also gives you the performance and it gives you the tunability as well. But with that being said, let's step back here Let's listen to what it sounds like at an idle. Just a really good sounding car. All right, let's go ahead and hop in the interior over here. Justin, you wanna step over to the passenger side? We can take a look at the interior here. All right, guys, we've got a really clean dash, all painted. <laughs> the classic uh chevy i can't remember it's like a reddish color i don't remember the exact color uh, code for it but uh you got the classic bel air steering wheel here you do have an upgraded set of uh, dakota digital gauges to go along with the car you do have the retro sound stereo system as well you've got the ice cold ac vintage air kit here overall just a really really nice car it does have the power top we can go ahead and crack that open. We were uh, leaving it closed to stretch the top because the owner, current owner, doesn't ever uh, leave it open. So Justin, I'll go ahead and get a shot of that. 
show you that it is functional. Just a great feature for those spring and summer days when you want to put the top down and let the hair or let the wind blow through your hair. Had it backwards there. So everything on this car has been sorted. The uh, previous owner had everything done by professional shop. So everything is done professionally and done the right way. Um, overall, the interior is pretty much stock other than the little touches of modern technology that they've put in it, but the material and the style of the seats and the dash is all original. Um, as Justin can see down here in these kick panels, you do have some upgraded tweeters and speakers here for your stereo system. So you can definitely uh, hear your music pretty well with the top down. But overall, the door panels are nice and clean. They look really good here. Overall, the car is really nice. You do have the boot here as well to go over the back um, that you can put that on there to give it a really, really clean look. The boot's in really good condition. But overall, love the car. It's in great condition. With that being said though, I wanna put it up on the lift and really show you what makes this car special and that's the Ride Tech suspension. So let's go ahead and put it on the lift. All right guys, we're under the beautiful 1955 Bel Air. Uh, we're gonna start up here at the front like we always do. You've got a really beefy Ride Tech sway bar here. Looks really nice. The cross member here is all nice and clean. If you look over here, you can see that you've got a really nice tubular con lower control arm and upper control arm. And you also have the Ride Tech Fox uh, coilovers that give you that excellent smooth ride. Um, you have some extra adjustments here to give you the right angle if you want. But all this was done professionally, so everything is set and ready to go. You don't even have to do anything to it. Um, as we move back here, we'll look at the headers. You have a nice set of ceramic coated mid-length headers. Looks really nice and clean. Oil pan and everything under here is clean and, and dry. Uh, you do have a 700R4 transmission, so you do have an overdrive transmission. Everything looks nice and clean under here. Oil pan looks clean and dry. As we move on back, you do have a cross, uh, an X brace here to give you an extra uh, support to keep the chassis from flexing on you. Got a really nice Flowmaster mufflers here that, that ride on back past here. As we get to the back here, you've got the rear Ride Tech suspension here where they did a four link setup. So it looks all nice and clean, really cool suspension. Ride Tech is the best in the business in my opinion. Um, it's all made it up to a nine inch forward rear end here. Uh, overall, just really high quality parts. You got a brand new fuel tank as well, um, which has the electric pump inside of it for the Holly EFI system. Um, but overall, this is just a really beautiful car, super nice, professionally done, and it's ready to be put in someone's driveway and, and be enjoyed. It doesn't need anything done to it. It's ready to go. Uh, but with that being said, if you're interested in this vehicle, you can go to our website, collectiblemotorcaroofatlanta.com, or you can reach us at 770-738-7111. You can ask for Chris or my coworker, Justin, and we can handle all the shipping, financing, everything to get this beautiful car in your driveway. But with that being said, guys, we're going to go ahead and wrap this one up, and we'll catch you on the next one.